Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of 5 MCQs in 5 minutes through which we are actually revising 5 important topics. This series that I have started is beneficial for NICT, FMG and also for our NEET PG aspirant. I mean for all examination this series is going to be your one point of revision. The very first question for our today's session that we are having is going to be which of the following in T diabetic agent does not require dose reduction in renal field patient. Now do you guys know that this question has been asked in AIMS, NICT and NEET PG but this is one of the question that has also been asked in the examination of FMGE june 2021 you can check it out it's uh, uh, readily available on youtube but again what i'm trying to explain here is that the question and topics are almost going to be same in almost every examination and i'm pretty sure most of you guys have got the answer already because pyqs to galat nahi hona chahiye correct answer for this question is going to be linaglutine all this class of drug that is ending with glutine all this class of drug that is ending with glutine they are all going to be your DPP4 inhibitor, dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitor that will be increasing the level of your GLP1 glucagon link peptide 1 which is having insulogenic, insulinogenic property. All of them are getting excreted, all of them they get excreted renally. Exception that we have except going to be your linagliptin except get that is going to be linagliptin. So linagliptin kaha se excrete hota hai? Linagliptin get excreted through liver linagliptin that get excreted through liver and that is where we are going to squeeze down one more mcq here that linagliptin liver se excrete hota it is getting excreted through the liver therefore linagliptin should be avoided in a liver failure avoided in liver failure what is avoided in liver, liver failure linagliptin ko liver failure may avoid kariyega but linagliptin if it is excreted mainly by the hepatic root therefore this will be considered as a safer alternative in a patient with the renal failure renal failure to de sakte hain to isliye this is one of the agent that can be utilized apart from that do remember a very very important point that all the dpp4 inhibitor they are associated with a common side effect that is urti upper respiratory tract infection sometimes they use a term called non nasopharyngitis please do not forget urti or nasopharyngitis either of the term examiner can use for you the very uh, second question that we are having about a 70 year old male presented with the complaints of recurrent episode of forgetting the name and address okay dementia or a symptom are mainly going to be a case of alzheimer disease he is not able to you know difficulty solving problem and couldn't recall this again this is a case of classical case of your alzheimer's disease now do you know alzheimer's disease may actually there is a degeneration of cholinergic neuron right acetylcholine ki kami hoti hai there is actually gonna be deficiency or decrement in the acetylcholine so examiner is asking a drug is given uh, a drug was given for the management of this condition which act on or uh, if acetylcholine is already lesser don't you think you should try to increase the level of acetylcholine and we do this by giving acetylcholine esterase inhibitor acetylcholine esterase inhibitor the one that we are going to use is the reversible acetylcholine esterase inhibitor that is tertiary amine in nature and these agents are remembered by the mnemonic grd grd that is going to be your galantamine this is going to be drugs like your galantamine, rivastigmine, galantamine, rivastigmine, and donepezil. 2023, simple question on, IN, on this topic in INICD that out of them, which of the following will be preferred if the patient is not tolerating oral drug? It's available by the transdermal patch. So if the patient is not tolerating the oral drug, we will be preferring rivastigmine. Out of all of them, galantamine, uh, rivastigmine, and donepezil, out of all of them, donepezil being the drug of choice due to its longer, uh, you know, T-half life and lesser side effect. So we mainly try to increase the level of acetylcholine in a patient with Alzheimer's disease and the drugs that are used for the management will be GRD, donepezil being the drug of choice. Next question is about a patient presented with the early morning uh, joint stiffness for which he was started on anti rheumatoid drug. Regular monitoring of visual acuity or fundus examination is required with which of the following? So, we already know hydroxychloroquine that is actually associated with your a condition called your bull's eye maculopathy. Bull's eye maculopathy is a condition that is irreversible in nature. Therefore, any patient who is on sulfasalazine or uh, sorry, any, any patient who is on hydroxychloroquine, we need to check his uh, you know uh, visual acuity right all other agents can be utilized gold to clinically not utilized no clinically not used gold is also associated with your pulmonary fibrosis gold is also associated with pulmonary fibrosis it's clinically not utilized the answer to this question is going to be a 
Next question, which of the following is wrongly matched about the seizure and its preferred drug? GTCS preferred is either valproate or we can also utilize lamotrigine. Either of them can be utilized. Absent seizure phenytoin, partial seizure carbamazepine. Carbamazepine is the drug of choice. Of course, febrile seizure, paracetamol diazepam, or intranasal midazolam. Either of them can be utilized. Either of them can be utilized in a febrile seizure, intranasal midazolam, or paracetamol diazepam. Right? Either of them can be utilized. Now, absent seizure. Me, remember, in a patient with absent seizure, the drug of choice is going to be ethosuximide, and phenytoin is actually going to be contraindicated. I have a small, uh, you know, mnemonic here to remember. In the absent seizure. What is avoided? What is taken? So you are getting always absent from the class. Sir, I will study. I want to take leave from the class to study, but you never study. What do you do? Do nothing. Vella ghumte hai. Getting absent from the class and what do you do? Nothing. Vella ghumte hai. That is valproate, ethosuximide, and lamotrigine. Getting absent from the class among the benzodiazepines, the only benzodiazepine that can be used will be your clonazepam. Ethosuximide happens to be the drug of choice. Sorry, the timer has already beeped. Ethosuximide being uh, the drug of choice. Lamot uh, lamotrigine can also be utilized for a typical absence seizure. For a typical absence seizure, the drug that we can utilize is going to be your valproate. Okay, remember a typical means patient co loss of consciousness. Be also there. There can be involvement of the motor as well. What is contraindicated? What is avoided? I used to say that avoided in absence seizure. Cops at the TV. One time, remember to remember cops at the TV. Cops is carbamazepine, oxazepine. Phenytoins, SB2 inhibitor, Tiagabin, Vigabatrin. Any other GABAergic drug in addition to that, plus any other GABAergic drug should also be contraindicated. GABAergic drug will further slow down the firing, neuronal firing. And in an absence seizure where the firing frequency is already very low, 3 hertz per second is spike and wave pattern, any other GABAergic drug will precipitate or will it, it, it will worsen the absence seizure of the scenario. So, class is absent ho to study, but you never study. Vella ghumte hai, valproate, ethosuximate, lamotrigine. Ek bar bolo ga, I promise you can you can remember it forever. And what is contraindicated? Cops at the TV. Carbamazepine, oxazepine, phenytoin, SB2 inhibitor, that is levetiracetam, rivaracetam, tiagabine, and gabapentin. SB2 inhibitor, levetiracetam is the drug of choice for epilepsy in pregnancy. Another important question. Last question that we are having: 30 year old smoker diagnosed with diabetes was searching on internet about the disease and found that the diabetes mellitus will lead to heart disease. For which he consulted the physician. Which of the following agent will not be prescribed to the patient as a primary and secondary prevention of cardiac complication? So for prevention of cardiac complication, we keep the patient on aspirin. We keep the patient on statins. We can also keep him on uh, clopidogrel because aspirin and clopidogrel they are collectively known as dual antiplatelet therapy. What is the purpose of you know agents like your warfarin? What is warfarin? It is uh, one of the anti-coagulant. No, warfarin is anti-coagulant. There is no role of warfarin in this case scenario. Another examiner he asked the question: What is the mechanism of action of warfarin? It is one of the competitive inhibitor of the vitamin K dependent clotting factor. Vitamin K dependent clotting factor ka inhibitor hai. It has no role in prevention of complication related to heart. Right. So I hope all of you guys have enjoyed this five minute and five topics with me. I'll see you in the next episode. Please do not forget. To like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next class thank you very much